I'm going to show you how to assemble this gorgeous spring flower bouquet and it's part of our paper flower garden series. This tutorial comes in four parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the ranunculus. For this bouquet, you'll need the kit, scissors, a hot glue low temperature glue gun and glue, wire cutters with the needle nose plier, 60 22 gauge wire, and 15 18 gauge wire. You'll also need some floral tape. Also included in this kit are written instructions which you can use to follow along with the video. The ranunculus flower has three different colors. So as you can see there's a number. We'll pull out the one which is green. You can flip back to the yellow and find the two and the three. And if you punch these all out at once you can just place them in stacks but you'll want to keep them in order. Then if you go back to the coral page, you'll find the four, five, six, seven, and eight. The next thing you'll do is use the edge of your scissors and your thumb and curl all of the petals inward. All right, before I assemble, I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in the back of seven and eight because we're going to add a stem at another point. Okay, I'm starting with the metal, the smallest piece, which is green, and I'm going to overlap them in this rotation, kind of a spiral shape. You'll want to flip that last tab right underneath, holding it in one hand and then rotating it with my other. So here's the back of it, the flat end of it, and then very gently use my fingernail to crush those corners in. I'll put some glue on the back. This, this is the hardest one to do because it wants to smash right down the middle, but you can do it. Then I'll place that right into the second one with the corner going right through the center of the petal. And then again, do the same thing, rotate. You'll want to try and rotate the same direction as the last petal. Overlap and then holding it, I'm kind of spinning it to tighten it with my fingers and then just crushing each of the corners and I'll continue to do that all the way through all the petals. Before I glue on seven and eight I want to remember I have a hole in the center so rather than putting the glue straight onto the number I'm going to just put the glue in a circle on the outside and I'll try to place the holes right on top of each other. Now I'll turn the flower over and starting in the center with my fingernail, I'll just gently crush the petals, working my way outward. And before I open up the bloom, I'll take my wire, and with the needle nose, I'm gonna bend it at a 45 degree angle, and then find the hole, both levels, and then just slide it right into that. Now we're going to cover this up with wire and the back of the flower won't show so you can add some glue to the back and just let that cool and that will hold it into place. Now I'll gently open up the petals. I just love the way this three color, it just, it looks so elegant. So go ahead and make all eight of those and we'll add those into our bouquet.